sorry that I am not showing you how to do cam bearings. <laughs> um, there is a good video on YouTube. Go check him out. His name is, uh, he goes by the channel Garageless. I will leave a link on how to do cam bearings to his video on how he did them. Um, one thing to note out in his video that is probably not mentioned, but it shows in all the factory manuals and even on factory builds. This cam bearing in the front, the oil hole actually has to be aimed straight down. And then the other oil hole is back over here with a, uh, with a notch on the bearing that feeds the timing chain. Um, it probably, in a performance build, probably doesn't matter. It could probably be at the 45 degree like the rest of the bearings. But I didn't want to take that chance. And all our factory motors are set up that way. Um, the reason that I would say don't take that chance is because from here, this oil goes down to the crankshaft, which feeds the main. And if there's any chance of oil starvation here, uh, you're going to either eat up a main bearing, rod bearing. Um, either way, it's, it's not going to be good. So I'm glad I figured that one out real fast. Um, you probably noticed I took down the second video where I was kind of upset about comp cams. But honestly, between all the information and stuff that I have learned, that is basically probably down to the uh, shipper. Um, it's a good possibility that it got damaged in shipping. Yes, I'm mad that comp didn't want to warranty it, but at the other side of it, I still ran it in the engine, not inspecting it. Um, so what we have here, that is nice spin, nice and freely. Uh, this one right here is my Delta cam that came today. Um, I inspected it and it is very straight, not even a thousandth of a run out, like very close to a thousandth, which is nothing. So I know this cam's nice and straight. Um, there was a tight bearing on it and that was at the back. So to get the good clearance, I ended up uh, doing the old school method of grinding notches on 45 degrees and using these notches to scrape the bearing. So ended up doing that. And uh, sure enough, it actually, that method works great. This camshaft spins nice and free. Like there's no binding whatsoever. The reason why it's not free rolling is because of the uh, assembly lube that I put in it. Um, if I didn't probably put a whole bunch of assembly lube on it to, you know, take the chance. It would probably spin really nice right now. <laughs> but uh, the cam went in beautifully. So we are back at it again, guys. Um, Delta did send me their, uh, their own lifters to use in the build. Um, he told me that in order for warranty purposes, I have to use his lifters, which I'm cool with. That doesn't mean my comp lifters are bad. That just means I can save those for a... Uh, if I want to take another shot out with another build with using comps cam. Uh, so much good information out there, guys. The comp cam for what I paid versus a grind. This is just my opinion. I would probably go with a grind. Um, the grind is half the price I paid for this comp cam. Um, doing with shipping, I'll probably it'll get close. But the grind, the way I look at it, is actually cheaper. Uh, you do get your own custom cam card with it. He does send you that. And surprisingly, it's actually really good. <laughs> the specs are actually very well. Valve lifts around 434. Valve lift 289 on both intake and exhaust. So it's a good streetable cam. I'm not going to lie. It's supposed to be close to my comp cam. I think he gave me a little extra. And the reason why I say that is because my comps is around... Uh, um, I'd have to pull out my comp cam card, but dang it, it's at work. <laughs> so, for another time, I guess. Um, this is their card. You know, Go Series Racing Cams awesome stuff so again 
We're back in business. My motor might be running hopefully next week. <laughs> Stay tuned. This is DJ coming at you from the Figueroa Barn. Um, so to make mention on this, I just got done doing valve lash. Um, the reason why I'm doing this little, little tiny part skit is because with one six to one roller tip rockers, the valve lash, when you change the geometry, the valve lash adjustment changes. So on a factory, you would go three quarter turns after zero lash. Um, on this engine, I found that just doing a half turn after zero lash for the, for this lift is phenomenal. So just throwing that out there. Um, I, I just do a half turn being that I got one six and, uh, that it's got a higher lift. Um, it's actually what the comp camps card told me to do is just do a half. So yeah. Another note to make, because a lot of people get this wrong, is the, uh, when you do a timing chain, in the manual it wants you to line up both dots together to get the chain perfect. Um, that's great, but just remember that when you get the chain on there with both dots pointing to each other, this is exhaust stroke. Why they want you to align the chain on the exhaust stroke, I don't know, but just remember that because if you go to put the distributor in on number one you're going to be 180 degrees out because this is actually on number four um to put it back at top dead center i made a mark beautifully right there and i'm going to put my dot on the cam right there and because i already marked my distributor when i took this all apart that i'm going to put it back on uh, tdc number one so just Keep that in mind, because a lot of people I know get this wrong when they do a timing chain. When I first started out, I got that wrong too, because I was like, I got the marks right. The manual says I got the marks right, but they never told you that you align the chain on uh, the exhaust stroke. So just experience of over time. So hopefully that helps someone out. Uh, I got to rotate the motor back to number one. Uh, I'm going to start putting it all back together. So far, I got all this back together. Uh, valve covers can actually go back on now because we're done with the lash. The reason why I did that was because, well, I had to set the lash, so it would be dumb to put the timing cover on. <laughs> but now I can put the timing cover on. So, uh, almost there. 